tastes like pennies at Christmas. But thank God the 360 cookhouse takeaway is back up on the menu. My God, tackles are us. I am sick of that bloody poop. Oh, hey, Maggie. Jeez, I know what you mean. Oh, it's a great time of day out, oh. though. Do you know, Penny was mad at Christmas. Did you get to go down? I did. I started queuing up there about 3 30 in the morning, and I, I eventually got in. And that night was I was there for well, it's real, you know, but that. And did you buy anything? No, oh, not at all. I only went down for the breakfast. <laughs> what you, Mrs. Murphy? How are you? I'm oh, sure I'm grand, girls. I'm grand. Just say to Vera here, the queues for the 360 book house is like pennies at Christmas. Oh, tell me about it. Wasn't I down there myself? You know, just buy the few bits and have on the browse. And this shop assistant comes up to me and says, Are you finished yet? And I'm looking at thinking to myself, Now, hold on a second, lady. Sure, you have to make the right choices. I what were you buying? I can't. But it had to be the right colour now, girls. And, uh, what colour did you get in the end, Mrs. Murphy? Leopard skin. Oh, I know, it's the bit of leopard print. I need another second to take a pair. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. he just loves it. Right, calm down. God, it's great to see someone else for a change. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to get that golden ticket. Just get a break from the norm. Oh, yeah. Yes, we wouldn't throw him out of the bed green day, doesn't we? In fairness to him here at 360, haven't they done some job yeah, lads? I mean, there's the partitions and the social distance and the sanitizer. Jeez, they've done a great job. You feel safe as house. Which is great to have the day. Oh, yes, and she's girl. She's been a drag for years. That has. Yeah, drag. I never knew you drank, Mrs. Harris. I could not be turned a pioneer all my life. Think of that. Until the 15th of March 2020. Are you finding the lockdown a struggle there, Mrs. Murphy? Well, I tell you now, girls, I wouldn't mind being a wheelie bin. At least I get to go out twice a week. Mrs. Murphy. I should have a be too long more. You must be on the list for vaccine. Oh, uh, well, um, no. I'm not over 70 oh, yet. Actually! Oops! Hey, now, because I just there, that's no fairness, but now come back to the whole, the whole ticket, golden ticket competition, that's with Blackwater Distillery. Mm -hmm. That is the whole, I was thrilled to see it. I, 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 you know, you know what I like for the competitions? I know it's in there, and then like, but I subscribed to the to it, then I said, she bets, you know. So I decided to subscribe Jimmy to it. Then I said double or not, or triple or not. So I decided to just subscribe the mother, the father, the sister, all her lot over. <laughs> yes. I even subscribed the children to it. Your kids, nine and ten. I forgot to hear. Shh, they don't know the difference. I had it ten years out. <laughs> Oh, that, that Tom Cruise and that cocktail. Yeah. Jesus, he is gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely. Go on there, bio. Shave that old cock. Keep it clean. clean. Yeah, shake. <laughs> Mind you, girls, I hope you sanitize the old hands there. God knows where they're thin. <laughs> you know now what should be the ice and the cake, as the fellas say, or the, as the French would say, the, the creme de la creme. He took that old shot. Why mm. that? Betty comes to mind. <laughs> oh, not a chance. Well, well Mrs. Mrs. Murphy. Netflix, girls, Netflix. Oh, Jesus. How did Netflix just save this all? It's the only thing that annoys me, of course. You know when you're watching something and this look comes up on the screen. Are you still watching? <laughs> I mean, we're in the middle of a bloody lockdown. So what else would we be doing? Yeah. Now, 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 by you there, no, no sprinkling there on the measure. So I want to get me money's worth. <laughs> Maggie, it's free, sure. You know, I still want to get me money's worth. You have to keep an eye on these fellas. I'm telling you, now this is what I think. Um, Maggie, how is your Jimmy fighting? You know, we have to work like the lockdown. Well, you know now. Oh, he's giving me nerves. 
You know, my journey now is a, a scaffold. Yeah. Well, you'd have to be to get up on this. Ah, the, the, the COVID <laughs> stones, darlings. You remember me? I was a size six before any of this started. Yeah. And I'd have no one telling me I wasn't. <laughs> but he's at home every day, right? Stuck on the couch. And he has the mobile phone. Glute. And I mean, glute to his head. I was a suspicious woman. I'd be thinking he'd be having an affair. Good Scott. To be honest with you now, girl, so she know. There's no other fool that put up with only me, so I know that's not the case. <laughs> but the kitchen cabinets, lads, honest to God, they're, they're, they're ruined. They're hanging off that hinges with jeans. My kids say, Jimmy, will you go out and put the hinges back on the cupboards for me? He looks at me. I'm too busy. I have to try. He's sitting on the couch now and I'm still getting. I'm too busy, I haven't time. He's given me nerves. I'd say, uh, your Paddy is at home, is he, Vera? <laughs> so, like, you all know that my Paddy works from home, that works away from home, right? But of course, with this restriction, sure, he can't travel and her and stretch out there. So, of course, he's working from home. <laughs> and how are you finding that? <laughs> well, look, at the start it was grand. I mean, you look at the bit of an But Jesus, just now, he's everywhere. I mean, I go out to the kitchen to make a cup of tea, he's there. Out to the garden, he's there. I went for TV, he's there. And Christ Almighty, when I go to bed, guess what? He's there. She doesn't he sit yeah. there? For now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm here. And what about your Bobby, Miss Murphy? Is he at home? Oh, yeah, but sure, he's walking away in the spare room. That's she doesn't. And I'll leave all these meats outside the door. Why, Mrs. Murphy? This is a nice thing. Yes. Has got over tea. Oh, God, nothing like that, Vera. Not at all, not at all. But you know, with this two metres distance, I suggested to him. That it'd be much safer if we did 50 <laughs> metres and it's walking a treat. Good idea. <laughs> Murphy, or a ticket I go bed, I didn't think of that one be said. <laughs> but now that's seriously now, in all sincerity. What goes me? Is the whole school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just bad enough. I'm at home all day. But the kids? It's, it's like a nightmare. It's like one of those never-ending summer holidays. Oh, God, I know what you mean. Well, Mrs. Murphy, should I thought all your lads were grown up, I mean, yeah. and then flow the coop. I should dare. But it's this Zooming thing now. We're Zooming every day, and we've nothing to say. The same conversation, day in, day out. It's bloody boring, so to it's such a Murphy, you're surprising me with all the tech stuff. You've got the Facebook going, you've got the Netflix on, and now you're on the Zoomy. Listen, they told me how to get to groups with it, to keep connected. Mind you, when they had the chance to visit me, they didn't bloody well bother. Oh, gee, that's true. Yeah. But, like, I mean, I know what you mean by the homeschooling. I mean, God, my lads hate it. But what I do is I get them up in the morning, I make them put their bags on their back, I get to walk out to the gate, turn around, Come back in, see if they've gone to school. <laughs> Dear, is that not a bit extreme? Yeah. No! I mean, I had to listen to him all day. It's only 30 seconds, so I get to do it myself. <laughs> I mean, what do these teachers think we are anyway? Them? I mean, there's English and Irish, maths and art every single day. <laughs> and right. you, I don't agree on anything. I mean, I'll show them algebra one way. He'll show them up. I'll say, just don't mind your mom. And he'll say, don't mind your mother. I mean, what on earth are they going to be like when they go back to school? God only knows. I know, but I do feel your pain, Vera. Now, I have to be honest, I was on the one big popular of pain all day, all right? Till the whole student schooling came in. Now I have one gone by half past ten in the morning. <laughs> by the time we get to four o'clock, there's three drinks. <laughs> but I need it from me nerves. Yeah. I know what you mean. I mean, our local shop has one extra stock. 
Ana <laughs> manager is blaming me. They <laughs> just want to subscribe to this because at least like they deliver to your front door. Yeah. It also keeps the neighbors, you know, from twitching curtains. Yeah, you know, see pictures, yeah. 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 I know, yeah. But do you know what, see, what do we call these fellas now? Is it just yeah. a mix, 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 and I went down to the kitchen. Now I was gasping, and said, I needed a drink for me in arms, right? I went to, as you know, not open the cupboard because the ladies and gifts to dust have it fixed. And I took out the bottle of gin, mm-hmm. the bottle of vodka, yes. a bottle of whiskey, mm-hmm. a bottle of brandy. Mm-hmm. And I put it into one of them, you know those yolky bottles? Yes, yes. 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 you know, do you know? Those yolky bottles. Yes. Yes. And I went and I got a bit of cold fridge. And I gave it a bit of a shake. You know, I was, I was like that. Me man, you know, the fine looking fella now. The double O said the James Bond shake and not start. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and this new one, no bit of rum at all. What oh, is this, man? What on earth does it taste like? It was stew. It was drinkable. If you say so. <laughs> but now, I don't know the cheap stuff. We might see. We fly we all land from black water where you give us a bit of good stuff. Do you know what I mean? You're there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we might get your lip of skin tongue out there now and this is Mark me now and give him another fire at <laughs> You know what? We might get a bit of a, a, bit of a freebie. You know what? The way home. Sure. Yes, yes. Let's yeah. take, we, we have a toast anyway. We, we, we're here. So cheers. Cheers. Keep well coming. It's, it's great, great to have a day out. out. Mm. Do you know now that's what I was thinking? Right, and yeah, before we go, oh, now we're not going yet, by us. We keep oh, coming, no, like we're going nowhere. So we're going nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. We nicked the, 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 the tea away. And I know. Here, like, yeah, the 360 tea. Here and there, it's just part of It was back up and running, sir. And we get a bit of the caramel and the chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the potato brown. Oh, and now you're talking, Mrs. And you're having a dark bread with the. Gee, I'm sad, Billy. The, the flat bread with the olives and the dry tomatoes. Oh, oh it's been lovely. It would be a lovely way now to finish so the day. Lovely idea. Now, absolutely now. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Love it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi everyone, it's John here from Blackwater Distillery and I'm here with the lovely Rebecca and 360 Cookhouse in the Garvin. And we're going to show you how to make some really, really nice cocktails in the comfort of your own home. And the first one up is one of my own little creations, it's called Lemon Curd Your Enthusiasm. And what you're going to need for that is, first of all, some lemon curd. So you're going to use a nice generous bar spoon or teaspoon of lemon curd and just pop it straight into your shaker. Next up, we're going to be using some freshly squeezed lemon juice. So we're going to add 15 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And last but not, well, not last, but sorry, not least, we're going to be adding some freshly grated ginger. That's perfect. I never thought of using ginger, fresh ginger in a fresh ginger. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's just a lot of ways you can add in. Just ginger gives a lovely kick and a lovely dryness in the back of the palate for any cocktail. Mm-hmm. So not too much, just a little pinch. Right. And just pop it into your shaker. And we are going to be using this cocktail, Blackwater Berries Tea. Which, if you want to pick up on our e-store, um, we have a special code tied in with this, these videos here being launched on 360 Cookhouse. It's a BW360, and if you go into our e-store and use that code, you get 10% off all our gins. So we're going to be adding 50 ml of our very CJ. Pop that in. Now we're going to have to give this a good shake, so you look at it about 8 to 10 seconds, so a good strong shake. Normally at this point I'd smell the cocktail, but it's not an option. <laughs> so you're going to double strain. So when I say we double strain, it's going to get a sieve or something like this. So why are you double straining that then, John? Double straining, um, we have the ginger in there. So yeah. we don't want the ginger piece going into the cocktail. Plus it gives it a nice smooth finish as well. Okay, excellent. So just by pouring it through here, just any you going to get yeah. as you or juice and everything, just okay. nice and smooth into it. Yeah. So pop it in. Give it another bit of zest 
see this? Let's get it a little. In a normal grape you have home. Let's give it a quick grape of the top of the cup. And there you have a little curd and juice. So you have Yeah, so I have one as well. So what I'm going to start off with is a rosemary and blackberry uh whiskey sour. So rosemary and blackberry. Yes, so I'm going to take my cocktail shaker, a small bit of ice, and I'm gonna start off with 60 ml of whiskey. Where is my whiskey? Perfect, so that's velvet cap again from Black Water. Also, 10% off in our store using BW360. Okay. Better again. Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to move on. I'm going to use 35 ml then of lemon juice. So that you have that one there. It's like amazing here. <laughs> That's 35 mils of lemon, and then I'm going to do again 35 mils of simple syrup. So simple syrup is really easy to make at home. So you can basically just it's equal parts sugar, equal parts water. Bring it to the boil, and if you fancy at that point, what you can do is uh, infuse it with different things. So whatever it is that you like. So I have blackberry that I infused earlier on. So I'm going to add again just 35 mils of that. So with the blackberry, would you find it's kind of the same as making a homemade jam, just not leaving a ticket? Yeah, so like you just keep stirring. The main thing I find with sugar syrup is if you keep stirring, it won't get to a caramel. So do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you walk away and leave it, and you're not looking at it, you're very likely to end up with caramel. So if you just keep stirring and stirring once it's reached that point, you're kind of lucky, you know, it won't go too far wrong at that yeah. point. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go with 35 ml of egg yolk. Or not egg yolk, egg white, sorry. It's getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> Things are taking a weird turn here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to shake it up again, the same as John, about 10 15 seconds. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of ice for my glass just to keep it nice and cold. A little bit there. And then I'm going to do the same as John did and double strain so that it's nice and smooth. Where is the other side of that? Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Love the colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's such a nice springtime cocktail as well, just to get those fruits in there as well. So then, after that, I'm going to take it here. I'm going to get some of this. And where is my trusty blowtorch? I'm well aware the... that you probably don't have a trusty blowtorch at home, so you can just burn this with a lighter, it's not a big deal at all. Yeah. And the smell of that is gorgeous. Yeah. Back to me guys, this cocktail I'm going to show you is made with our Velvet Cap Irish Whiskey and it's called the Brown Derby. It's a classic drink but it's very very easy to make at home. When everyone thinks of whiskey cocktails, they think Manhattan's are old fashioned and kind of boozy. But this is actually a lovely spring cocktail, juicy, light and very easy to make. So the first thing you're going to need is some lovely local honey. This is just a lovely sweetener to add to any drink. So again you're just going with a bar spoon. <laughs> now so one spoon of honey. Gorgeous. Let's get that some in there. Perfect. It's a nice natural sweetness. Here. Yeah, so maple make, syrup, yeah. honey syrup. Yeah. Always a good idea. Like sugar syrups are great, but if you yeah. just want to try something straight out of your pantry at home. Yes, yeah. Easiest to yeah. get. Next up is freshly squeezed pink grapefruit juice. And we're just going to go with 25 ml of that. This gives a lovely zestiness in that in the cocktail as well. And finally, down to cap Irish whiskey. 50 ml. With that 10% off as well as Belgian Cap is so it's a great one for cocktails, isn't it? Yes. It's yeah. a great whiskey for cocktails. Same with Jane's going with like for different textures, yeah. like the berry seed, wet to strawberry, fantastic yeah. summer cocktails. Yeah. And of course the little yeah. dry gin. 
Yes. London Drive is one too for yes. any cops. Yes. So back this way, watch the leaf, give it a good 8 to 10 second shake again. So it needs a good strong shake because you really want that honey to run through. And we're just going to strain this into our glass. And to garnish, just take a cup off of your pink grapefruit. And just give it a nice squeeze over. Just pop it onto the side of your glass. There you have it. Brown down. Fabulous, nice and easy as well. Nice and easy, yeah. yeah. Easy to do at home. Yeah, absolutely. You have something a lot more so, complicated than that. <laughs> no, no, not that bad, not that bad. Don't put them off yet. <laughs> Don't even start it. <laughs> okay, so for this one, it is called a ginger jerry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take <laughs> some sage so we're going to go for 35 ml of this. And then I have 35 ml of gin. So again, I'm using the black water. Number five, London Dry. Number five, London Dry. So again, 35 ml of that. Then 35 ml of just simple syrup. Simple syrup is simple to make. Just one cup of sugar, to one cup of water. Yeah, you don't this is it. And then I have my 30 ml of lime. That's where I was going with my lime earlier. <laughs> I was like, I know there's lime in there somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of ice and shake that much up first. Okay. And then I'm going to I'm going to my glass. I'm going to put in some mint leaves Lovely. to the glass before I add the rest of my mixture and my ice. So basically, I've just put in about maybe seven or eight mint leaves. Yeah, I do see that I've been muddling for these kind of cocktails. It's actually not necessary. Like to say, yeah. adding the mint is giving it a good start, but actually, it's supposed to affect the yeah. too much. So, and then I'm just adding my mixture up to that point. Okay. And then I'm getting a little bit more ice. Just to top that up. And then I'm topping up with a little bit of ginger beer. Oh, I love it. So, you can take, like, if you don't like ginger beer and that's not your thing, you can take absolutely any kind of topping you like, whether it's soda water, sparkling water, whatever that may be. And that is the ginger jerry. Yeah, great thing with ginger beer as well as like the ginger has a lovely aroma to it as well as the yeah when you have the bubbles on top it kind of gives it a crisp finish but plus the ginger gives it a yeah. nice aroma as well yeah so no, i love ginger personally myself and i know with your cocktail earlier on you had that fresh ginger yeah. it's just such a lovely taste i know it's a personal preference but it is really lovely if you want to just add that something extra absolutely yeah fantastic so yeah can you go for it there we go yeah there we go ginger jerry you said again yeah ginger jerry see down the road there yeah <laughs> So don't forget to check out the details of the competition above. Yep, so with the competition, don't forget to follow Blackwater Distilleries and 360 Cookhouse to be in with a chance of winning all that fabulous stuff. Thanks very much folks. Hope you enjoyed it.